Hello, this is Nakura, and I am in search of the Alpha Lambda Omegas. Let's see where they are. I see some gammas. Are there any Alpha Lambda Omegas? I guess you have to tune in to find out. Go, go, go. 
and brothers that we want to greet today. The chapter of Theta Root from Gamma Phi Delta. Y'all, I feel the storm coming on. All right. Mm. I think I feel it too. <laughs> <laughs> forever, forever, forever. Forever, my brothers. And you mean so much to me. There's nothing more precious than the Gamma Lo family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If there's any doubt in your mind, you can count on me. We'll never let you down. Gammas believe in me. Gamma. Oh my 
me, because when I was online, I would have went off on all of them. <laughs> hey, virtuous woman, who can find? Big Sister Ruby, we love the way you shine. Yeah. We think survived on who? Jesus. Chapter 
verse 20 in Matthew, which reads, Where two or more are gathering in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So they headed to the Texas Union on the campus of UT Austin to fill out required documents to become an organization, a registered student organization. Right. <laughs> oh, four, oh, three, one, nine, nine. Oh. They spoke to a woman at Consuelo who would give them just what they would need to become a Christian sorority. Jesus never fails, and this we know. Oh, four, oh, nine. One, nine, nine. Oh, hey, oh, oh, Christian sorority was established, and that's our history. And we out. Reading his word. 
again, thank you all for being here. And we want to take this time right now. We never want to take for granted or think that um, just because you are here that you know the Lord and Savior that we're talking about. So we want to give you an opportunity tonight, if you do not know the Christ that we serve, to get to know him tonight. If you do not know Christ, then what we're doing here is a show. And we want it to be a ministry, and that is what we are about. We are a sorority, but we are a ministry first. And so we do not want to um, miss the opportunity at any given moment to, to let you know about the Lord and Savior that we serve, that we trust, the one that we're singing about, the one that made this um, all possible. The reason that the founders came together, the reason that all of us are still here um, in this organization is all about the Christ that we serve. So if you do not know the Christ that we serve, then we want to give you the opportunity tonight to get right with the Lord, tonight to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior for the first time. So if everyone can please bow. Father God, I am a sinner. I recognize that there is nothing that I can do to get me back in right relationship with you. Today, I submit my life to you. I believe, God, that you sent your only son, Jesus, to come and die on the cross for me. And I also believe that you raised him up again on the third day for my salvation. I want to accept Christ into my heart to guide my actions. Y'all didn't give my hand, they worked really hard.
of Houston's campus. First chapter of ALO. Woo! These young ladies are known as Oaks of Righteousness. Their name of this chapter is Pi Nehemiah. And if you know anything about <laughs> Nehemiah's story, Nehemiah went back to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. These ladies are standing here to rebuild this wall on your campus. These ladies are here to serve the Lord on your campus as Pani Amaya, as Oaks of Righteousness, planted for the Lord to do his work. Congratulations, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Years. 